does all the barbecuing at our house and uh, all of the cooking actually when it comes right down to it and he won't cook a big piece of meat without using his meter m-e-a-t-e-r and this is a set of temperature probes that are bluetooth enabled to tie to your phone help come out with the perfect meat yep. and i'm here with kai chen who's going to talk to us about the existing products maybe and, and the newest products you've got here today yeah well first steve thank you and th thank you as well allison for being such su supporters of meter we Truly are appreciative. because we Big were, fans, big fans. Oh, that's so great. Because we were a small Kickstarter campaign. So anytime I meet someone that's a fan, it truly means a lot to me. Anyway, we can get into the product. So I think uh, what you guys have currently is meter block. Built-in Wi-Fi has four probes in it. The newest product that we have is called Meter 2 Plus. So we just came out with this November 6th. So just two months ago, um, maybe two days ago. So happy two-month uh, birthday to Meter 2 Plus. And what's different is you'll notice that the new probe, completely redesigned, more robust. You'll notice that the ambient end is not ceramic anymore. It's actually stainless steel. So what that means, it's more durable. So now you can take the probe to higher temperatures, up to 1,000 degrees Fahrenheit. Yeah, super excited. No, that's important. Steve just to finished telling Kai about how he uh, got grease stripped on one and it got over 550 degrees and it was like, save me! But it actually did survive. So these probes that, that Kai has in his hand are what, maybe five inches long, four and a half inches long, something like that? Yes. Just a solid piece of metal has a little, a little ceramic band there. This is actually a zirconia ceramic. Ooh. Super durable. I just learned this actually pretty recently from the UK devs. It's not, you know, adamantium or vibranium but it is very strong. Okay, so this is this is one unit, and the advantage is that it's, it can go up to much higher temperatures? Yes, much higher temperatures, and because it's also more durable, you can actually deep fry with it. Previously, we weren't saying, we weren't suggesting deep frying, but now we say, hey, you can deep fry it, you can, you know, sous vide with it if you like, air frying is obviously okay. Oh, wow, Yeah. okay. So the cool thing about the meter is its connectivity. You've got the application yeah. open. We're going to describe it hopefully in detail here. Yeah, why don't we go through it? So essentially you take the probe, stick it into whatever meat you want to cook, tap the big blue button to start it, and then what do we want to cook today? It's asking beef, pork, poultry, lamb, fish, or other. Well, I'm going beef tonight. Uh, of course, beef every night. And then what would you like to cook? Okay, we've got sirloin, ribeye, flank, T-bone. What do you think, a T-bone? I'm going with the T-bone. Let's go T-bone. And then how do you like it? Oh, I like medium rare. Oh, so. correct. <laughs> Good. <laughs> All right, I'm going to tap on medium rare. Now it says 135. Is That's our goal temperature? It is. But you can also, if you know the specific temperatures you like, you can obviously adjust it to, to your liking. I like 132.6. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> 132. We haven't gone to tenths of a degree for the target, but... You know what you'll notice though, I'm so glad you brought that up because you can actually, this is one of the new features, you can actually see the t two tenths of a degree oh, for can. the internal temperature. So this is internal temperature 75.2, we got a ways to go, our target is 132, ambient temperature 69 degrees in the room right now. Exactly. All right, and that's, gonna tell, that's then going to estimate our cooking time? Yep, once it collects enough data, then you'll know how long it takes for it to cook. So it'll say 30 minutes left, now you can go make some sides or grab a drink, kind of let me do the work. Now let me see if I've got this right. One of the problems that we had with the previous system was that if Steve got too far away from it, he couldn't uh, keep track of what was going on. Right. But this is now, this. So you, what has to be near what? Does right. the sensor, what sensor needs to be near the meat, near you? Got it, got it, got it. So, Meter 2 Plus uses the latest in Bluetooth technology, uses Bluetooth 5 coded Phi long range mode. So, okay. it's a lot of technical jargon, but we it like means, that. Yeah. <laughs> it means uh, better connectivity, more reliable connection, and the way it works is probe, Bluetooth pairs to the charger. This is stronger because of the higher Bluetooth, and the charger pairs to your phone. And okay. this is also stronger. So the so the the probe and the charger need to be relatively close, but you can walk away with the phone because yes. you're over Wi-Fi or this is still Bluetooth. Still Bluetooth. Okay. But if you have a second phone or a tablet, you can get onto Wi-Fi. Okay. So your first phone can act as a Bluetooth to Wi-Fi bridge. Oh, that's kind of interesting. Yeah. Well, I've never heard him complain about have, being too far away from the meat, so that seems to work out okay. Right, 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 that's right. very cool. So how much does one meter plus cost? One nineteen ninety five. Okay. And they're not inexpensive, but I'm telling you, we've been using them for how many years? Four or five years, I think now? 
four years, and like we said, he lit it on fire last week, and uh, and it's still working strong, and it, it's That's a great. reliable device. So really, so really impressive. If people want to learn more about the uh, Meter 2 Plus, where would they go? Meter.com, M-E-A-T-E-R.com. Very good. Thank you, Kai. Awesome. Thank you so much for visiting.